Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. And yeah, I just went through a major earthquake here in Acapulco, Mexico, that of course originated in Mexico City, but the shock waves literally shook this entire house and pretty much scared the crap out of me and everyone else here. But it looks like everyone's fine here in Acapulco. The show must go on, and there's a lot of incredibly important developments that we're going to get into in this video. And that's why we're going to get into the latest news with Venezuela, Syria, Iran, Israel, Russia, the United States. There's also some missing CIA files, and we're going to give you the latest update on the tyranny from not only the banksters, but also our favorite monopoly intelligence agents backed corporation, Google. Now, I hate to tell you I told you so, but I told you so a few days ago, not only in my Twitter account, but also on this very YouTube channel where I warned you, Venezuela's latest move of them officially stopping accepting US dollars for oil payments and moving towards the yuan means not only a very bad significant move against the US petrodollar, but as I said a few days ago, quote, I would expect the regime change in Venezuela soon because of this move. Now this of course was very easy to predict if you understand American foreign policy and the concept of the US petrodollar. And now, surprise surprise, surprise, Donald Trump said that the U.S. is ready to intervene in Venezuela's democratic collapse. He made very strong statements today saying that he is preparing to take future action in Venezuela and ultimately threatening that country because, as he said, they're delivering only anguish and failure to their own people. And that Donald Trump wants a full restoration of democracy and political freedom in Venezuela. Now, hmm restoration of democracy and freedom where did i hear that before and most importantly do you see the propaganda that's being used against you to sell more intervention overthrowing governments and more possible war now there's a reason me and other experts were able to predict a likely regime change push by the u.s administration days before donald trump talked about restoring freedom and democracy in that country now i don't have a magic eight ball but i know how american foreign policy works and that's why they're selling you on these lies because you don't see donald trump on the stage of the united nations talking about the suffering of the people in saudi arabia or yemen or countless numbers of other countries that the united states has good relationships with he's doing this for a greater geopolitical goal and he's lying to you about it because if you really understood it you wouldn't be for this in intervention or this next possible conflict that the United States is entrapping itself in. And there is a reason why Donald Trump is saying now that democracy must be restored very, very soon. So of course, we're going to keep a close eye on that story and report to you all the latest developments that happened between the United States and Venezuela on this YouTube channel. But Venezuela wasn't the only target today for Donald Trump, who at the United Nations came off like John McCain 2.0, where of course he went after countries that are also not friendly to the US petrodollar like Iran, but also North Korea, and of course those pesky terrorists that the United States keeps financing that Donald Trump told you he would stop arming, but yet still is secretly through the Pentagon and organized crime. But after all that, he still had the audacity to say, still America comes first. Because if it really did, we wouldn't be starting wars, creating regime change, fighting alongside terrorist rebel groups inside of Syria, aligning ourselves with Saudi Arabia, indebting this country to over now $20 trillion with the military industrial complex that saps away all of your taxes to spend on supposed defense spending when it's really offensive spending. And it makes my head spin sometimes seeing what's happening and seeing these people lie through their teeth and ultimately screwing all of us over over and even our children's future who are going to be indebted to the war machine. Now, of course, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu congratulated Donald Trump on his speech and said that in over his 30 years in experience with the United Nations, he has never heard a bolder and more courageous speech by Donald Trump, which of course works perfectly to the greater geopolitical goals of the unholy alliance of Israel, Saudi Arabia, and the United States. And this is just moments after Israel, just right now, shot a U.S. Patriot missile that is worth $3 million 
dollars at an unmanned drone that was allegedly flown by Hezbollah. And as all of this is happening, the situation in Syria is becoming more chaotic and more unpredictable as the day goes on. And becoming extremely dangerous because in Syria, there already is a proxy war between Russia, China, Iran, Syria versus Israel, Saudi Arabia, and the United States. This proxy war between these world powers is happening right now and has been happening for months, but it's only escalating now to very dangerous proportions, as we've seen a couple days ago, where the Russian Air Force struck U.S.-backed Syrian rebels where an estimated 900 U.S. troops are embedded with the Syrian opposition forces right now. And as the Syrian army is making progress taking back their country, the Russian Air Force is assisting them and directly coming into a conflict with American forces. And just days ago, we saw the Israeli military just bomb Syrian government forces and set up their largest military drills in the last 20 years, establishing their forces on the Syrian border as we're speaking right now. And it's not just them, it's also Turkey who wants a piece of the pie, as they just deployed over 80 military vehicles, including tanks and their soldiers, on very strategic pieces of land that Turkey wants to control. And it's important to note here, as we reported to you two days ago that Turkey, which is a NATO ally, has flip-flopped and joined Russia in cooperation with them to decide the future of Syria outside of the U.S., Israeli, and Saudi Arabian influence. And now we're seeing Israel very strategically support an independent Kurdistan state, officially backing their independence alongside the United States because it would balkanize Syria more, divide Syria more, take away more land from Bashar al-Assad, the Russians, Chinese, and Iranians, create a separate state in the region and help Israel with the United States and Saudi Arabia battle some of the Iranian influenced Syrian government forces. And this is why one of the reasons why NATO flip-flopped on the United States and is now working in cooperation with the Russians, because there's been a long-going feud between the Kurds and the Turkish government. With Israel and the United States supporting the Kurds, Turkey automatically went to their enemy in this proxy war, and that, of course, sets this very confusing battleground that we're seeing right now with all these countries and world powers trying to get more power, land, and control over the Syrian country, which is a very oil-rich country, but we're seeing Turkey wanting a piece of Syria. We're seeing Israel wanting the Golan Heights. We're seeing them supporting another state outside of Syria in in their own country. And all of this as Russia and China are backing the Syrian government and the United States with Saudi Arabia and Israel are supporting the rebel groups in that region and actually fighting alongside radical Islamic terrorist groups to help balkanize that region, create more conflict and war, which we have been seeing escalating throughout the years. Yeah, that's a very confusing situation, but I hope I somehow simplified it for you. And it's not just the Middle East we have to worry about, as we're finding out that the United States is sending yet another aircraft carrier to the Korean Peninsula as we're speaking right now, which of course will create more tensions with the Chinese. And with more and more people becoming disenfranchised with President Donald Trump. And I think it's evidently very clear that his agenda, his foreign policy, is not America first, but a continuous continuation of the same policy that was done by George W. Bush, Barack Obama, and now him on even a bigger level since he's even increasing military spending and becoming what he swore he would never be, and that is John McCain Light. Since his talking points today were almost identical to John McCain. And it's not just happening with war, it's also happening with domestic policy, especially when it comes to the big banks, which Ann Coulter even said that Bush only had three Goldman Sachs officials in his administration, but Donald Trump has six. Those same Goldman Sachs officials that Donald Trump rallied against when he was running to be president of this country, but now ultimately is giving them whatever they want. While at the same time in this country, the middle class is being destroyed and the average person is being programmed to hate each other and never look at the bigger financial crimes that are happening in this country that are literally robbing the wealth away from us and indebting our children. By the way, this was a really great comprehensive article by The Intercept that will be linked in the description below and I definitely recommend you take a look at it.
Now, another bankster-related news, we have JP Morgan and Chase, whose CEO came out and called Bitcoin a fraud, but yet his company still handles Bitcoin-related trades, showing you the utter hypocrisy and ultimately what kind of manipulative frauds they are themselves that, of course, have no moral or ethical background, which shouldn't be a surprise to you. And now in totally unrelated news, we have WikiLeaks coming out today and publishing details on the Russian's government increasingly oppressive internet surveillance industry, exposing to you and the entire world about how the Russian government spies on their own citizens. A very important file dump that of course will also be linked in the description below of this video so you can see it for yourself. And now in other horrible tech news, we're finding out that Google is also intensifying its censorship of left-leaning websites, predominantly anti-war websites, and at the same time, they're also hiring a thousand journalists to flood newsrooms all around America, which I personally think is a great sign showing how effective real and independent media is, especially after the latest PR debacles that Google went through, whether it's them firing their own employees or censoring search results or websites. And because of all the bad press they've been getting recently, they are ramping up their media presence by sending over a thousand Google hired journalists to local newsrooms all around the country. Because real news and information is critically important. It is the number one asset to any company or government. Because if they lose control of the narrative, if people find out about their lies or the sinister things that they're doing, their entire empire will crumble because it is totally dependent on people using them and trusting them. This is why we're seeing a journalistic offensive by Google right now. Because in this day and age, information is the strongest weapon out there. And that's why also this week, we're finding out that an entire volume of CIA files on Lee Harvey Oswald that were supposed to be released days from now have gone missing. If you don't know who Lee Harvey Oswald was, he was the patsy, I mean, the alleged mastermind and murderer behind the assassination of U.S. President John F. Kennedy. And now, surprise, a government agency has lost more secret files about the death of a U.S. president that is highly controversial, surrounded by conspiracy theories, and of course, lots of holes in the official story. So yeah, that was very convenient of the CIA to have such a mistake. Remember everyone, truth is the substance of morality, and this is why there are so many cover-ups, so many lies, so much propaganda used against you. And that's why we do our best to uncover Cover it here on youtube.com forward slash we are change. Of course, an independent media company that would not exist if it wasn't for your donations and support on wearechange.org forward slash donate. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching.